A year from now, barring any unforeseen complications, Google Glass will have gone public, and it just might have forever altered its maker in the process. Now, the story of Google Glass begins back on June 27, 2012. Sergey Brin and his cohorts in what we now know as Google's X Division pulled off the dangerous and wildly successful extreme sports debut of Glass at the end of its annual developer conference keynote. Now, the headset didn't shift until almost a year after making its splash at Google I.O. though, and if you paid the $1,500 for the Google Explorer edition of the headset, you had to visit Google in person to pick it up. Now, Google took a cautious approach with its launch of Google Glass, and although it never said why, you could argue that the Glass team knew it had something unusual and controversial on its hands, and knew that Glass needed to be handled carefully in order to work. Now, fast forward to today, and Google Glass has progressed at a slow and steady pace. There are now several thousand Google Glass testers, mostly in the US, who are wearing, testing, and writing apps for the Android-powered headset. Last month saw the debut of the Glass Development Kit Preview, finally giving Explorer Edition owners access to most of the hardware APIs so they could build more interactive apps. Google is also inviting more people to purchase Glass and distributing a slightly updated Explorer Edition headset to current Glass owners for free. Now, Google representatives have acknowledged that Glass's battery life needs work, probably the most common complaint about Glass. The only thing that looks more ridiculous is that an internet-powered headset is one tethered to a battery pack. But considering Google's recent successes with Android, I really think that they can make it work. But getting all the development factors lined up is, in some ways, easier than what must follow, selling Glass to a curious but skeptical public. It's already banned in some places, and People have been widely criticizing Google Glass for its slightly weird design and for turning people into cyborgs. Now, a time frame for Google Glass's public release could be revealed at next spring's Google Developer Conference, and Google might even have the Explorer Edition follow-up headsets as their giveaway. Now, Google has seen success in giving away new high-profile hardware at Google I.O., and giving away more copies of Google Glass could be a good way to convince the public that it really is a helpful device. Now, that would also fit in line with comments that Google has made about wanting to get Glass's price down below $600. The components apparently cost around $210, and a new high-end smartphone without a contract runs around $600, so if Google can hit a price tag under $300, it would make Glass significantly more appealing. Now, another aspect of Glass that challenges Google's comfort zone is convincing the public that Glass really isn't just for a very small part of the population. The touchscreen smartphone, now ubiquitous, had a lengthy legacy that spanned two decades. Wearable internet-connected headsets still haven't crossed over from science fiction to consumer reality. Looming even larger the ongoing privacy concerns, just because Google has banned the development of glassware that uses facial recognition doesn't mean that they won't be out there. There are even legitimate use cases for facial recognition. It's one thing when you can tell that somebody is recording you or taking your photo because they're holding up their phone, but when someone's wearing Google Glass, you have no idea whether they're taking a picture or video of you or not. Now, I think that Google Glass could work in the future, but I do think there are a lot of issues that Google will need to work out before it's really ready for a full public release. There are very few people I know who really want a copy of Google Glass right now, and I think its uses are very limited. Google really needs to bring down the price, take away some of the concerns about privacy, and make it so it's actually useful. But let me know what you, you want to see happen to Google Glass in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!